Vue 3 has added endless possibilities for state management. The new composition API in Vue 3 exposes the underlining reactivity system and introduces a new way for structuring our applications. The new reactivity system is so powerful that it can be used for centralized state management. Today, we'll be looking at Pinya, which uses the new reactivity system to build an intuitive and fully typed state management system. We'll be creating a shopping cart application from scratch to learn the basics of using Pinya with the Vue 3 Composition API and TypeScript. This application will allow users to add and remove URLs from a shopping cart store created from Pinya. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other Vue.js videos. You can grab a link to the full source code in the description below. Before we create our application, let's take a look at Pinya and why you may want to use it over the alternatives like Vuex or the Vue 3 Composition API. The first is Pinya offers automatically typed modules without needing to do any extra work. These typings also work with regular JavaScript but are much better with TypeScript. If you compare this with the current state of Vuex, adding TypeScript support is a difficult task. I go over this topic in more detail in another video, so if you're interested in learning more about Vuex and TypeScript, I recommend you go check it out. Pinya also follows a flat modular structure, which means there are no nested stores, and instead you create stores as you need them. This can simplify the overhead for dealing with state management and allows for easier separation of concern. It also follows the state getters and actions design principle presented in Vuex for making debugging easier as your application scales. Additionally, it comes with SSR support, Vue DevTools integrations, Webpack code splitting, and is extremely lightweight. These are all very nice features to have when building a full stack application. Unfortunately, our simple example we will be creating today will not cover these topics. Today, We'll mostly focus on creating stores with Pinya, having full TypeScript support, and working with state, getters, and actions. It's important to note that Pinya is experimental, but I personally haven't had any problems using it in a large-scale application. With all this in mind, let's get started creating our application using Pinya and TypeScript. Let's get started by creating and initializing our Pinya project. To do this, I will be using the Vue 3 CLI tool since it is quick and simple. Make sure we select Vue 3 as well as manual features so we can enable TypeScript. Once installed, we can install Pinya with yarn add Pinya at next or npm if that is what you prefer. Since Pinya is a wrapper around the Vue 3 composition API, it is not necessary to initialize it as a Vue 3 plugin we can simply start creating and using it within our application. But if you want to add support for server-side render and Vue DevTools integrations, we'll need to add it as a plugin. We can simply do this by calling app.use and passing in the return results from create Pinya. Now let's get started creating our store. To create a store, we use the define store function provided by Pinya. Here is where we pass in an object with our state, getters, and actions. This define store returns a function which we'll call to get our state. This will make more sense when we actually start using our store in a component. For our simple example, our state will contain an array of objects with a URL and name property. A user will provide us with this information whenever they add a new item to their shopping cart. We'll also need to assign the typing so TypeScript knows what values are stored in the array. For the getters, we'll add a simple property that will tell us how many items the user has in their shopping cart. To do this, we'll define a function. We can access the state using this, which has all the correct typings we just defined. The return value will simply be the length of items in the array. We'll also need to add two actions. The first will simply add the item to the array, and the second will remove the item from the array by finding the item's index and splicing it. Once again, we can access the state by using this. And we are done creating a Pinya store. 
we just need to add an ID so that we can identify it in the dev tools. For the components, I've added the bootstrap CSS class to the index.html. This will make our application look better than the default styling. I've also created a card class that simply applies the bootstrap card classes to the divs. Now let's get started by first adding items to our array. To do this, we'll create a form that asks the user for a name and URL. When they click submit, we will add the inputs to our Pinya store by calling our add item action we previously defined. To get the store in the component, all we have to do is call use cart store, which is a variable we set equal to the return results of defined store. Now we are able to access anything from the store. If we hover over the add item function, we can see it comes with TypeScript support. We will also need to create an item list viewer. This item list viewer will iterate over each item in our cart and print the name as a hyperlink to the URL they have entered. We can return the state in our setup function so that we can access it in the HTML template. We'll also add a remove button, which will call our remove item action and delete the item from the cart. Lastly, in our app.view, we can import all our components into cards and add some nice headers. Besides the item header, we'll add our getter we created earlier to display the total number of items in the cart. And that is it, we are finished. Pinya is an amazing and simple state management library for Vue 3. It really shows you what is possible with just the composition API. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.